I've really not had a chance to celebrate the holidays for quite some time, huh? <laughs> but I'm happy to be doing it today. I mean, just get to hang out with you. We get to make nice food and I get to reveal the present. <laughs> the present's very important, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. It's, you're gonna love it, I promise. <laughs> we have all the holiday festive essentials. <laughs> Having some nice hot chocolate would be great to warm us up. <laughs> yeah, it's been really cold today. The snow's been really pretty though, have to say. <laughs> In addition to our lovely beverages, we also have some nice cookies. <laughs> I figured maybe a bit later I should like place some like milk and some cookies near like the fireplace just in case, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm sure Santa gets hungry. <laughs> could work, could work. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'd ask him though. Yeah. I mean, I did my list as usual. And, you know, ask for some small things. <laughs> Fun little stuff that I end up getting what I truly wanted. To have well, a chance to be a girl, you know? <laughs> I wonder if much would change if I was brave enough to to tell him that while sitting on his lap at a shopping center. <laughs> I wonder if he was tired that day. <laughs> yeah, when he asked what I wanted, I probably asked for a Pokemon game, which I did want, but more than anything, I wanted to be a girl. And it came true, huh? Yeah. Which makes it a bit easier to enjoy the holidays now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love the holidays, but <laughs> spending so much time around distant family can be kind of awkward. It's been like literally years, but I think some distant family is still expecting a boy to show up. <laughs> And uh, every year it's kind of a shock. <laughs> it's usually the same conversation over and over. How are you? Is uh, your family cool with it? Fair enough. <laughs> Suppose it can be very varied from person to person. <laughs> but no matter, you get to relax here, you know? And I think that's special. <laughs> yeah, the years I thought I was the only one like this. The only person that insisted something was not right. The only one that wanted to be a girl despite everyone wanting something else. But, turns out, there's a lot of people like me. And for that, I'm glad I met you. Yeah. I know transition's pretty hard, but it gets easier the more we do it. <laughs> Especially since we get to be our true selves, you know? That's the most important thing. And I got you a little something to hopefully make the process a little easier. <laughs> yeah, so here's a little box. <laughs> Fancy wrapping and all. Consider it a early Christmas gift. It may not be entirely your thing, it was a bit of a guess on my part, but maybe it'll make this journey a bit easier. Let's hope at least. <laughs> so. You wanna open it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess the wrapping's a bit tricky. You, you try there. There we go. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a beginner's makeup kit. <laughs> I um, I don't know if you're already experienced with that kind of thing, but uh, it was uh, on sale and it looked useful. Even if you know what you're doing, there's probably some products in there that'll be helpful. Um, so uh, did you like it? <laughs> okay, cool, cool. <sighs> yeah, that's why I do one. <laughs> yeah, we haven't known each other very long, so it's hard to get the perfect gift, you know? <laughs> oh, you have a gift. Okay. Let me have a look then. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll open it then. Sound good? Okay. I think I'd be better at opening things at this point. <laughs> but judging by the shape, they do feel very soft. Hmm, what could it be? Oh my god. A plushie. <laughs> That's so cute. Aww. Oh, this is great, thank you. <laughs> no, no, like, really, I love this. <laughs> They get to sit right here on the little couch of us. <laughs> oh, this is the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, um, for this holiday season, sometimes it can be good to hang out with friends, to know the holiday. Emphasizes family and that kind of thing, but for a lot of us, that's a complicated subject. But you know, I I think the thing I always loved about Christmas and the holidays in general is that emphasis of getting together and doing things. I know it doesn't necessarily have to always mean family. It can be friends, it can be found family, it can be all sorts of things. And I think found family is really important, especially for our queer communities. Yeah. I think every time I meet more and more trans people, the less alone I feel. You get me? Yeah. With well, that said, though, <laughs> I got a little special movie prepared. Yeah, it's so it's a really interesting romantic Christmas movie. Okay, so there's this girl, right? And, um, you know, like she's kind of like losing the spirit of Christmas and then, like, finds this, this guy that, like, really likes Christmas and. Oh, you think you've seen that one? I, I mean, I guess that's how a lot of them turn out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like, um, here's the title right here. Have you seen this one? No, but you feel like you have. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's have a look then. <laughs> You know, I'm still waiting for them to make a Christmas movie about a trans person. I think that'd be beautiful. Because I, f I feel like being trans gives you such a specific experience this time of year. And I want that to be expressed through art. You know? I'll try... Netflix's LGBT tag. Maybe we'll get something with a trans character. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Um, do you know what the controller is? <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's find our movie. <laughs> Feel free to start drinking the hot chocolate. <laughs> it's not a requirement for the movie. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a girly sleepover in a way, huh? 
kind of makes it more exciting. Don't get to do that very often. I kind of missed out on that kind of thing. Oh, like, I want the sleepovers, but I never went to, like, a girl's sleepover. <laughs> the boys' ones are always very... Uh, not my vibe. <laughs> but watching a movie, bunch of girls together, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's almost like getting to reclaim something you didn't get in the past. <laughs> and the snow is going to be so pretty tomorrow. Like we could go ice skating or something. Or maybe like sledding. That could be cool. Who knows? <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to try sledding. Yeah. I don't always get a chance to do that kind of thing. You know, when I was uh, in high school... We were told to make a short story, and it was themed around Christmas. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, I wrote it about uh, a businesswoman who recently transitioned to a girl. And she arrived at a playground she used to play at all the time during the holidays. <laughs> And the story, the playground was like covered with snow. In the story, the trans woman arrived at the playground she was so nostalgic for. And even despite being adult, decided to have fun in the snow. Play in the playground and feel that joy. Even if what Christmas means has changed. Maybe even if she's changed. Perhaps the holiday spirit can remain. <laughs> I think me writing that was kind of wish fulfillment. <laughs> I still want to play on playgrounds. I want to, I want to do all the fun stuff, you know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have to only do boring adult things, you know. I want to do fun things. I want to explore, meet people, play, <laughs> all sorts of things. All the while dressed in outfits that feel like a dream. But a reality. <laughs> and I hope you get to feel the same way. Getting to wear what you want. And I'm glad you're wearing what you want here. It's safe here. And you can wear what you like. You can be whatever you like. And maybe later I'll show you how to use the makeup kit if you uh, happen to need some extra help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh. This movie has a lesbian couple in it. Yeah, it's uh, it has a various groups of different couples meeting on Christmas. And one of them just happens to be a lesbian couple. I think that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to give it a watch? It also has the the person that was in Spider Man. Wow, like the the guy in the chair. Wait, I didn't know he was in other movies. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I'll grab the rest of our snacks. Maybe some popcorn. <laughs> it's still a movie after all. And, uh, let's enjoy some cozy holiday fun. <laughs> okay, let me go get the popcorn. Okay. Here's your bowl. And here's mine. The hot chocolate is in the cup holder. I think whoever invented cup holders kind of a genius. <laughs> I wonder what people will invent next. Do you think like the things people ask for Christmas in a couple hundred years would be like things that we can't even comprehend? That'd be pretty cool. Well, I think you're pretty cool. <laughs> it's inspiring to see you grow and be yourself. 
truly. Um, I'm glad we get to hang out. I'm glad that we get to get closer and closer to being our authentic selves. Well, you ready for the movie? The review sites on my phone say that it's pretty good. So, I'm excited to see it with you. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have to drink the hot chocolate every time a Christmas cliche happens. And I'm here for it. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> yeah, like if, if the first 10 seconds doesn't have sleigh bells, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> This will be fun. I'm happy to do it with you. <laughs>